Alright everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So today I'm going to be working on my cold gun. I have two different shots set up, both using identical mini balls with identical loads of gunpowder. This is going to be 30 grains of black powder for firing these bullets. One of them I'm going to be firing at liquid nitrogen temperatures, and the other I'm going to be firing at ambient temperature. The target is going to be these blocks of 20% by weight gelatin. So there's my gelatin block over there. That's going to be my target. And here's the gun. I actually reduced the powder down to 20 grains. So this is 20 grains of black powder with a mini ball. Let's see what it does. Here's the bullet right here. So it went through, then hit the wood, and then just bounced off down there. I've added another box of gelatin here. These are just some pieces that were cut off. I just packed them into the box. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch it in there. And also, I'm only going to be adding 15 grains of black powder to this this time. So I'm reducing the powder once again. Yeah, the bullet's sitting right there. I've loaded the gun with 15 grains of black powder and the mini ball, just like I did in the last test. Now I'm going to cool it off with liquid nitrogen. I'm just going to stick the whole thing into the drawer. There it is. So let it sit there for a few minutes to cool off completely. Seem to fire okay. Let's go look at things. The gun is still exceedingly cold. And how about this? The bullet made it just as far as it did when it was warm. Also, it appears to have some frozen gelatin stuck to it. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, it's still freezing cold. So there you have it. When it's cooled down with liquid nitrogen, it doesn't really affect its power at all. Just warming up my gun. And that's, the flame is touching the frost and yet it's not melting it. See, in fact, I think it's adding to it. Now that I've got the gun warmed back up to a comfortable temperature, how about we have a little bit of fun and shoot a bullet made out of gallium. This right here is a bullet made out of pure gallium. It weighs significantly less than the lead. Now let's see what it does. Gallium bullet, 15 grains of powder, room temperature. So that's about what I expected. Since gallium is so brittle, it appears to have shattered on impact. You got pieces coming in in all directions here. Let's see if I can dig one of these out. Yeah, here's uh, the tip of the bullet there. So here's all the pieces I was able to recover. As you can see, they've been shattered into quite small pieces primarily. <laughs> In fact, uh, all through this stuff here, these little tiny bits, all through it. I'll just have to recover it when I melt the stuff deck down. Well, I thought that was pretty cool seeing the gun shooting at liquid nitrogen temperatures and then having the same result. Also, the gallium bullet was pretty cool too. In fact, that's one of the things I want to do with this gun now, is shoot a whole bunch of different types of metals with it. You know, exotic materials. In fact, I might even shoot the whole periodic table if I could. Of course, for a lot of those metals, I'm going to have to definitely upgrade my system here. And I might actually upgrade my gun as well. See, a friend of mine gave me this uh, one and a half inch thick, one foot long brass rod here. And I was thinking of turning this and making it into a gun. Since this doesn't have any bubbles, it'd be a lot better. But that little gun did work out pretty okay, I thought. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.